Senator Tester. Thank you, Chairman Lee and Ranking Member Heinrich for holding this hearing on the Blackfoot Clearwater Stewardship Act. I know you've got a full agenda today. I appreciate you taking time for this important piece of bill. It is an honor and a privilege to advocate for a made in Montana solution on our federal lands. I'm going to tell you what this bill does right off the, sh right off the beginning here. It preserves one of the most unique landscapes in the country for future generations, for our kids and grandkids. It increases trail use and rec recreational opportunities for those who love our outdoors. It strengthens the local timber industry in western Montana. And maybe most importantly, it provides a blueprint for breaking the gridlock that is plaguing our forests. Now, I'm going to tell you this bill wasn't drafted in a back room in Washington, D.C., influenced by D.C. lobbyists. This bill was started over 10 years ago with folks, some are in the back of the room, and I'll introduce them in a bit, that worked with their neighbors. They worked with folks from the logging industry, from the environmentalists, from conservation, uh, from recreation, and came to a, an agreement on a bill. Now, I'm going to tell you, for those of you that know uh, the situation, if 10 years ago, if you put a, a logger and a conservationist, environmentalist, and a recreationalist in the same room at the same table, chances are somebody was not going to come out of that room. But yet these folks had the ability to sit down and compromise and come up with a made in Montana solution for our federal forests. And I can tell you this, and I think we can all agree to this, D.C. can learn a lot from what these people have done. So Mac and Connie and the rest of the folks from Montana, if you'd stand up, we'll give you the proper. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it. Um, appreciate it very, very much. There are some folks uh, in the photo here that were also part of that compromise. And in that compromise, we've seen $19 million flow into the region for forest restoration and timber harvest. Uh, this investment's created and sustained more than 100 jobs an additional $33 million in economic activity. Uh, with active forest management now done, it is time to fulfill the rest of this agreement. And that's exactly what this bill does. The Blackfoot Clearwater Stewardship Act, as you can see on the map behind me, protects 79,000 acres of wilderness for the next generation. Why is this important? This is the same kind of area that powers a $7 billion economy in the state of Montana, 74,000 jobs. This pristine land is near the Continental Divide, crown of the continent, home to grizzly bears, elk, moose, wolverine, deer, beaver. Well, you get the idea, okay? This bill also empowers the community to keep all moving forward on new recreational trail proposers for hikers, anglers, hunters, and anyone who wants to spend an afternoon breathing the fresh mountain air. It opens up 2,000 acres for snowmobiling, 38,000 acres for trail-based recreation, including mountain biking, it is a bill that everybody wins with. And most importantly, it builds a blueprint for future forest management compromises. As you can see, the wilderness designation in this bill is added to existing wilderness, Bob Marshall, Scapegoat, Mission Mountain Wilderness. Each year, thousands of folks flock to this region to experience some of the last untouched landscapes in this country and absolutely in the lower 48. While they're here, they eat, they shop, they sleep, they drink, they spend their money at local businesses in Sealy Lake and Ovando. And this just isn't a land management bill. For the folks that live here, it is a jobs bill. This is what we're trying to protect. Thousands of years ago, glaciers cut through this valley, created one of the most special places in this country. God doesn't make places like this anymore. And the folks who call this land home have decided that they want to protect it for their kids and their grandkids. Again, Mr. Chair, Ranking Member, I want to thank you for holding this hearing today. This bill is a result of people working together to find solutions in our forest so everybody can win. There are no losers. Trimble harvests are well underway. The trail maps are printed. Now we, Congress, this committee, needs to complete this local agreement and protect these landscapes for future generations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Ranking Member. I appreciate your time.